Since the beginning of the pandemic, roughly 23 million households became home to a dog or cat. Yay, needless to say, that's a lot of animal naming. And according to Rover, a lot of these pets have been given pandemic-related names. The most popular, Fauci, COVID, and Zoom. Non-yay, <laughs> anti-yay. <laughs> Some honorable mentions include Pfizer, Vax, and Dolly Parton. <laughs> oh I have to God. say, Pfizer sounds like a good name for a dog. Like, here, Pfizer, come here, Pfizer. Like, that sounds kind of like Fido. Pfizer, you know? <laughs> yeah, uh, so we're all, all of us are proud uh, pet parents, dog, dog yeah. parents, all of us, and you also have a, a cat, I believe, Kim? Yeah, Ryan and I now, because Ryan just got a dog, right? Ryan, Ryan just so now got we, a dog. Tell yeah. us your dog's so. name. We named her Paxaville. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> uh, no, we, we, no, I'm kidding. We named her Manupravir. We named her Manupravir. <laughs> Manupi for short. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, we named her Cherry. It's very nice. Cherry, uh, oh, that's okay, a cute it's a, name. A, re a rescue that we got on Sunday. Okay. Uh, it's beautiful, beautiful. She's, she's doing well. We have two cats. Cats are What the are least your cats' in, names? Uh, Potato and Tiny Mufasa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Potato and Tiny Mufasa are the least excited about having Cherry in the yeah, house. Yeah, I bet. And there's been some hissing and some growling. And yeah. We're, we're working through that. Hopefully, we can... Ease, ease that. What, what, are your, what are yours? Uh, my, I have so I have two little Yorkies, Morkies. Um, they're they look like puppies, but they're, they're actually quite old now. They're brothers from the same litter, uh, Caesar and Oliver. Uh, we've had oh. them for almost 13 years now. They are they're wow. getting old, but they still have the the uh, the excitement of puppies. They just want to be held and petted and cuddled. I refer to them as like pillows that move around. Sometimes they're really good apartment dogs. Um, because they don't like want to get exercise or go any, <laughs> they, they, they're, they're really just, they just like hanging out and being petted. So, well, I mean, it's good Kim, yeah. Kim, whatever you think of Fauci, it's, that's actually a pretty decent name. Fauci. Well, Fauci, come here, Fauci. Yeah, Little you can Fauci. see that. I like that. You, yeah. I like that you got to end with that E sound. Like the, the <laughs> dogs respond to that. Yeah, that's true. Although my dog is Scarlet. So you, you and I, our dogs are kind of named after red colors, right? So. Mm -hmm. Um, and what's your cat's is, name? Ella, Ella Fitzgerald. Mm, so mm. I, for a long time, I named all my pets after, I'm a jazz musician, I'm a jazz drummer. And so I, for a long time, I named all my pets after jazz musicians. I had Ella, I had Ella Fitzgerald, she's 17 now. And then I had Duke Ellington at one point and Dizzy Gillespie and Lucy Ann Polk. So I kind of named my pets after, but then with Scarlett, she wouldn't come to any of the names that I tried to give her. Um, for jazz musicians, so I had to just go with the name. She's a rescue, so I had to just go with the name that sounded similar to what she already had, but I might change it. I mean, look, she's already had her name changed. I think I'm her fourth home, so she's had her name changed several times, so maybe I could change it again to Dolly Parton. She's, you know, a big blonde, right? Mm -hmm. Robbie, you met her. <laughs> I did. Adorable. So I, could, I could name her, you know, Dolly Parton. I think that would fit her really, really well. I could give her a pandemic name. <laughs> I guess. Z Zoom is a pretty depressing name yeah. uh, for these Zoom. pets. All the, probably half the people watching right now have have Zoom like muted right now while they're while they're listening yeah, really. to this instead. Uh, but that's well. But that, but you know. We just hope that people actually keep the pets. I know there was a lot of reports of people adopting uh, pets from the shelter, and then once they kind of went back to work, they realized, oh, I don't really know how to care for a pet. I don't really have time for a pet, and so they were giving the pets back that's to terrible. the shelters, which is really sad. So hopefully people, you know, kind of learn that a pet is not really a pet. It's a family member. Uh, you know, you, they, they need a lot of care. In fact, my dog, I'm taking her in for surgery right after this. She's got a little growth that needs to be removed that's bothering her. And, you know, so it's a real commitment to have these, these loved ones in your life. And, you know, it's fun to give them a fun name. We all get to, you know, that's the fun part, right, in the cuddles. But We're, beyond uh, that... We're about to try a new pet experience. So every year uh, for Christmas, usually once in the summer too, my, so my wife and I usually rent a car and we drive back to Michigan. That's where we're from, visit family. And we always drive because we have the dogs and we've never flown with them and I don't know how that would go. But this year, uh, we're, there's, we're not gonna go back for as long a trip. Gotta get back here to, help, to, to produce the show. So we're gonna fly, I think, and we're gonna fly with the dogs. And I don't know how a that's gonna go. Easy. I've never done that before. I'm very, uh, you're gonna have to like 
drug them so they sleep through it because they might. I, I don't know how they're going to react to flying. Probably they're going to Especially gonna panic. with the masks, it's going to be tough for them. To mask the dog, yes. <laughs> Caesar, Caesar will not wear a mask. He he will absolutely not under no circumstances. They might not let him on the plane then. They're going to cite you. They're going to give you all kinds of, you know, they're going to give you a note saying you've been mandated to put on a mask for they, they Caesar will, however, however, both dogs will, uh, this, is, this brings me great shame, but they will enjoy being aggressively patted down by the TSA. <laughs> they're, they're, they will be, oh, no, no. Okay, put more, put more sweaters on them yeah. so they get extra pat down. Yeah. Uh, well, that. They're kidding, by the way. Dogs do not need to wear masks on airplanes, I don't think. I'm pretty no, sure they right. don't. They, so they, so don't, no. don't they do not get vaccinated. Yeah. <laughs> you can get pets vaccinated, yeah. right? I, some people are doing Against that. Against COVID? Against COVID? Is that a thing now? You're able to go take them to the vet? And no, I don't know that you're able to do it, but it's it's. They Some make zoos. vaccines for, they're right. vaccinating animals at zoos. That's what I meant. Yeah. 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 I don't know okay. that you can take right. them to the vet and, and People get are getting a, a lot of misinformation from this segment right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the non-serious pet segment. Everybody knows we're just having fun, just horsing around. Oh, uh, right. They're like, people on Rising told us that the pets have to wear masks on the planes and you got to get them the COVID vaccine before they get on the plane. We're going to get, <laughs> I no, saw it on none Rising. of that is true. None of, we don't <laughs> want the YouTube misinformation label. We don't want to get uh, demonetized. Really. So. You just say it, just lie and say it's your comfort animal and you're fine. That's right. Yeah. Well, we'll have more Rising, uh, less pet discussion, but more Rising after this.